Hello everyone, welcome to VTU eLearning. Myself, Professor Nitin Kumar, working as an assistant professor in Department of Computer Science, BBC Mysore. So, as we discussed in the previous uh, videos, I have explained how the Android Studio can be used and how the method can be invoked. So, in this video, I am going to explain the program number one, which is present in the syllabus 18 CS MP68 Mobile Application Development Lab for six semester CSE and ISE students. So, this is an application where you are going to design the ID card. So, before I start with this program number one ID card application, as I mentioned in my previous videos, for every individual project that you are going to create in the Android, there will be two parts, one is design and the logic part. In the logic part, you are going to place the methods which are required for the functionality of the design. But with respect, the advantage of this program number one is, so where you are going to learn only about the design, you are not going to disturb anything in the logic part. Why? Because you are not going to do any, you do not have any logic to be placed in the logic part, just you have to place the, you have to create the design. So, we have, we can design it in two ways, one is by using the drag and drop feature, other one is by you doing the hard coding the XML. So, firstly, I am going to write the design as per the question that is present in your syllabus to develop the ID card application. This is my design. This is the activity. So, in the activity, so here you have to place the logo of your institute, logo. Next, here you have to place the name of the institute. Then there should be a separator followed by name of the faculty. Our name of the person followed by the designation followed by the college name address VVC Mysuru followed by the mobile number followed by the email address. So, this is the application design. Okay. So, just observe here. So, before I start with this hands on session, firstly, I need to explain. So, before you start any design, firstly, you need to, firstly, you have to recognize which view group are the layout you should use here. So, please observe here I have on logo should be placed, name of the institute should be placed and the details of the faculty or the person should be placed. This is my ID card application along with that there should be a divider that separate the institute information with the personal information. Okay, please observe. So, before I start with this explanation with the design, firstly list out the components required and the layout. The layout that I am going to use here is relative layout. The layout that I am going to use here is relative layout. So, you can go with the constraint also. Only the difference between the constraint and the relative is you are going to set the constraint for all four sides if you are using the constraint layout. If you are going to use the relative layout means there is no need of setting the constraints for all four sides. Instead of that, you can use the relative position of any two sides. Okay. The layout that I am going to use is relative layout. Before you start the design, please remember this point. Before, before you start the design, firstly you need to fix the layout. That is the first thing you have to do followed by just observe I need to represent the logo. So, please remember so if you want to add any logo or any external images as I mentioned in the previous videos. So, while explaining the file hierarchy of Android studio framework. So, you have to place those external files or the external images inside the drawable folder inside the drawable folder please observe. So, here I need to place a logo that is why I need one image view. The view that I am going to use here is one image view to place the logo. Next, how many text views are required? So, please remember the difference between the text view and edit text. So, if you want to display the result to the user, if you want to display something to the user, then we are going to make use of text view. So, if you want to read something from the user as an input, then we are going to make use of edit text. 
don't get confused between the edit text and the text view plain text and the text view text view if you want something to the something to be displayed to the user then we are going to make use of text view so if you want to read something from the user then we are going to make use of plain text same plain text will be referred as edit text in the core part don't get confused both are same while designing while dragging and dropping it to your design it will be referred as plain text but when you look, look at the look it uh, look look the same in the core it will uh, be it will be mentioned as edit text both are same don't get confused okay as of now we don't need this plain text or the edit text for our design requirement i need one image view that's for logo purpose that's for the logo purpose one text view to display the institute name one text view to display the faculty name one text view to display the designation address phone number email address 1 2 3 4 5 6 so totally i need seven text views is it clear the my design is it clear my design requirement the layout that i'm going to use here is the relative layout to mention to represent the logo i'm going to use image view to mention the details such as name of the institute name of the faculty and remaining details i need seven text views so please observe i need this divider we don't have any inbuilt divider or any uh, line uh, how you use in the word document to divide this id card application so that's why what i'm going to do here is i am going to use view it's a component so whenever you are going to drag and drop that view it will occupy the whole screen it will occupy the whole screen so but i'm going to change the height of it i'm going to change the height to 4 dp density pixel i'm going to change the height to 4 p dp so that it will become this like a small line and i'm going to change the color color to double 4 double 4 it's nothing but black or gray so that it will show, it will be, it will look like a divider so that separates the institute information with the personal information this is my design requirement is it clear the application that we are going to develop right now is id card application the layout design layout that i'm going to use here is relative layout the components which are required is image view one seven text view to display the information and i need a divider such dividers are not readily available in the android studio that's why i'm going to make use of view which will initially occupy the whole screen so i'm going to change the height to 4 dp dp so that it will become like a line and i'm going to change the color so that i can show the difference this is my design requirement regarding the program number 1 let's start the development of this id card application in this demo i'm going to show how the first lab program id card application can be developed so i will create a new project So as I mentioned earlier, we will go with the empty activity. The application that I am going to develop right now is ID card application, and finish. Make sure that you are going to select the language Java. for every individual new project that you are going to create so it's going to take around 2 minutes the gradle is an execution engine that is present in the android until the gradle scripts are synchronized with your project newly created project it will uh, uh, wait and please make sure that your devices are connected to internet before you create any new project otherwise the gradle scripts will not be synchronized with your project okay So now my the Gradle synchronization is over. Just you can look at this message. The Gradle synchronization is finished. So as I discussed earlier in the design requirement, so the application that I'm going to develop right now is ID card application. So ID card application, there is a hello message is present. I will delete this, which is not required as of now. It's a empty white sheet. So the layout that is present here is constraint layout. So I have listed the layout as relative layout. So firstly, I will change the constraint layout to the relative one. 
that's what required okay so go to code part and change the constraint layout to relative layout okay just you have to select till the constraint layout and you have to change it to the relative one okay so then so before we start with the actual id card application design so please remember one thing with respect to this program number one you don't have anything to do with this java part there is no need of uh, disturbing this java part why because the main purpose of this program number one is to develop the id card application to design the id card means the students will be should be well versed with the design part not with the application development not with the functionality part okay so please observe Oh, uh, now uh, before we start with the design, firstly you need to download the logo. Why? Because which is not available, VVC logo or any color logo, which will not be available in the Android Studio. Firstly, you need to download the logo of your part institute. Okay, so go to the particular browser and search for your institute uh, uh, logo. You can uh, get the logo of your institute. Okay. so you can download the logo so i will go i will search for my college logo that is vvc logo and make sure that the logo uh, you are going to make use of uh, jpg or png format other format logos are not supported in google android studio and save this while saving this logo make sure that you are going to give the name in lower case letters and the name should be short don't use the complex names such as bbc underscore mysuru underscore cs department underscore nitin kumar like that okay make it short so i am giving the name logo and the format is jpg it should be jpg or png okay i am saving it in the desktop done so once you are done with saving that particular logo in the desktop kindly cross check it go to the properties and kindly cross check the file type whether it's jpg or png it should be either jpg or png why because on uh, while downloading any particular logo initial in some cases it will show it as jpg or png after downloading it will change the format it will be in the form of gif that's why kindly make sure that it's in jpg or png once after downloading so kindly copy this image why because we need this in the logo form right copy this image okay so this is the folder that we have so i have explained the folder hierarchy we are what's the role of various folders which are available so inside that uh, resources folder so there is a folder by name drawable right click on that drawable and paste copy the copy that logo right click on that drawable folder please observe right click on the drawable folder and click on paste so it will ask for the refactor why because you are adding something external uh, something external image to that uh, android studio right that's why it is asking for the refactor so please observe okay it will ask for the refactor what we are adding right now logo dot jpg refactor done so just observe if you click at the logo if you if you look at inside the drawable folder you can find that logo here is it clear now i am done with the adding the logo Okay, so now we will add the components one by one. First component I am going to add here is image view. Just search if you have search bar here. Just observe here. Don't look at only components which are available here. So you can sir have you can you can make use of the search bar to search the components. Image view, drag and drop to your design. So once you drag and drop, just observe. Search for the image view. Once you drag and drop. so it will open a window where it will ask for the which kind of image you are planning to add so there is already available there is logo which i have added previously i will select that one okay so the image view is ready please observe increase the size in some cases it will occupy the whole screen 
so just set the relative positions okay so now i have added the image view just cross check with the code go to the code part of design so it is still uh, loading that resource so I've added the image view so once after adding the image view now I need to add the title I need to add the title of the Institute how to add the title I need text view right I will drag and drop the text view to my design okay so set the cursors as I mentioned earlier if you're using relative layout means you need to set the cursors for only two sides okay set the cursors okay and the font size is really less so if that's the case what I'm going to do is select this text view and you can have the attributes here select that particular component you can have the attributes you can uh, have that option here select that component and search for size of that particular component text size I will change the text size okay I will change the text size and I will add the and I will change the text also. What's the text we have here? Text view, I will change it to BBC. Okay, here the image will appear. This is the institute name. Okay, so once after that, I need to add the divider as we had it in the previous. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I need to add the divider. So still my logo is loading. So we are done with the placing the image view as well as the institute name. Now I need to add the divider. How to add the divider? Just I will add the view. Okay. Just observe. I have searched for the view. I will drag and drop that view to my design. So please remember here. Once you drag and drop the view to your design, it will occupy the whole screen. It will occupy the whole screen. Just observe the view component is present, but it has occupied the whole screen. Now I need to change the size. That's why I will go to the code part. I will go to the code part where I'm going to change the size. So height. So I will make it 4 dp. 4 dp. So that it will look like a line. Okay. So and I will change the color. background and I will give ash 4 it's nothing but gray color just observe I will go to design so is it visible that divider means we don't have any divider uh, to use predefinedly that's why I'm using the uh, view and I'm changing the color and height 
I'm changing the height to 4 dp. I'm changing the height to 4 dp and I'm changing the background color to gray and I'm setting the cursor as I'm using the relative layout. Is that clear? So next I need to add the name for that I need a text view. That's why I'm going to drag and drop a text view to my design and I'm going to set the cursors. Okay. Okay. So now what's the text that is present in the text view? Just select this particular component and text search for the size so that you can increase the size. I will give the size as 30 SP. Okay. And what's the text that we have here? Search for text. Text view. I need to change this to my name. That is Nitin Kumar. Okay. So if you want, you can center align this one. So next, as per the design requirement, next I need to add another one text view. That is so the new text view and I need to set the cursors. So once after that, I need to drag and drop to my design wherever it is required and I need to increase the size. Why? Because it is not visible as I have given the 30 size 30 for my name. I will give the 24 for my de affiliation or designation and I will search for the text. I have a text view here and I will change it to assistant professor from department of CSE. Okay. So now I will add another one text view to indicate the address. Address of our VVC is Mysore. So I will set the cursors, whatever the new component that you are going to add, for those components you are going to place the cursors towards left, right as well as bottom when you are going to use the relative layout. I will change the text that is VVC Mysuru. And the size, I will increase the size to 24. Okay, this is my address. So now I need to add the phone number as well as the email address. So I will add two text views. One is for my mobile number. Other one is for my email address. I have added the text view number one. This will be used for my mobile number. Just observe, I will select this one. I will change the size. I will give the size 18 or I will give 24 itself. Why? Because 18 is not visible. I will give the 24 and I will once again, I will select this one and I will search for the text and I will give the mobile number 8050462225. This is my mobile number and I will set the, I will place it in a proper position. So please observe, I'm, I'm adding, I'm, I'm keep on adding this components again and again, right? So instead of that, if you want to reuse the same component, just observe, select that component and copy it, control C. And if required, you can copy it again, you can place it again, control V. So please observe, the same component has been duplicated. So that I can use this one to mention my mail address. That is Nitin Gauda 021 at vvc.ac. Even you can do like this. Is that clear? My design requirement is over. Whatever I have designed on the board, same thing has been developed. Here I have placed the logo. This is my institute name. This is my name, designation, address, mobile number and email address. Is that clear? The layout that I am using here is Relative layout. Why I'm using relative layout? If you are going with this constraint means you have to set the cursors for both top as well as left. So I need divider like this. We don't have predefined divider that is available in the Android studio. That's why I will add a view. So and I will change the height of that view to 4 dp and I will change the color. Why? Because if you don't change the color means it will it will not uh, look like a divider. That's why I will change the color and I will give the uh, color uh, code as ash double four and double four. So that's a gray code. Okay. 
So once after that, I will execute it so that you can see the output. So once again, it will take around two minutes whenever you create a new project and if you are executing that particular application means uh, it should call the emulator and that particular emulator should come online. So you can check whether the emulator is online or not by clicking on this particular window, this uh, sidebar where you can uh, see the emulator status. In some cases, when you close this emulator, it will take much time to come online. So so best suited emulator for the execution of your program is Pixel 3. This is the well suited emulator that you can use. Uh, just I'm now I'm using Pixel API 13. Still the best emulator that is available is Pixel 3. Just observe my ID card application is ready. Is it visible? VVC logo institute name is VVC. Staff name is Nitin Kumar, Assistant Professor CAC. He is from VVC Mysore. This is my mobile number and email address. So we are done with the development of first application. The outcome of this application is the only thing that you have to remember in this application means you can use firstly you have to download an image logo of your institute that should be either JPG or PNG and make sure that you are going to give a small name. Don't make use of a full uh, name of your institute as well as department all those things just give a small name with lowercase letters and copy down that logo to the drawable folder it will ask for the refactor refactor it okay once after that uh, start designing before you start designing change the layout to relative layout once you change that relative layout uh, firstly add the image view and place it in a proper uh, position it's better to place it towards the downside. Why? Because the dimensionality of device to device will vary. That's why in some cases the logo may skip. That's why it's better to place it towards the downside. Okay. Followed by you have to add a text view to mention the institute name. So then the important thing that you have to remember is you have to add a view and you have to change the height of that view to 4 dp so that it will look like a line and change the color code to gray color that is nothing but hash double four double four and then add the text views to mention your personal details this completes the lab program number one thank you